What's going on guys? It's your boy CVS back with another Destiny video. So today we're going to be reviewing the Hakan Hatchet Legendary Auto Rifle, which is an Iron Banner exclusive. Now if you're not familiar with my review style, I'll refresh your, member qui your memory quickly. When I watch reviews, I want to know important things like critical damage, body damage, how bad is the range fall off, the rate of fire versus the damage output, things like that. So that's what I'm going to show you so that you know what you're getting into with whatever weapon that I'm going to be reviewing that day. But today is going to be the Hakan Hatchet. If you want to see just the gameplay review, skip to the timestamp at the bottom of the screen or it will be linked in the description box below. If you want to see more weapon reviews from me, they will be in the iCards to the top right or a playlist linked in the description box below as well, right below the like button. So smash that on your way down. So to start it off, I have a few versions of the Hakan Hatchet. The vendor versions they sell usually are pretty good, but the one that I'm going to be re reviewing or using is going to be one that dropped for me on the very first day of the Iron Banner. I have, I've have i had two prior to that, but I, they have good perks like crowd control and things like that, but I wanted to use one that I just got so it's fresh and new for me and you. So for sights, I have the Red Dot RS, good, good precision firing and it gives you a good boost to range and stability. SureShot iOS, which is it's probably got the best view of all three of the sites, and it gives you good acquisition. And then you got a mid-range scope called the Range Lens RLS 3. That was probably the worst of the bunch, but it gives you a little boost in range and a slight decrease in stability. So for me, it's gonna be I'm probably gonna go with the Red Dot ORS just because it gives you the best stat boost for out of all three sites. The first perk is gonna be Battle Runner. Kills with this weapon grant boost to the sprint's top speed. Now, to me, it's kind of a wasted perk, but it, it is handy when it comes to getting a kill, and if you're facing two people, you can either sprint out of the way quickly or shade step out of the way and then sprint out and slide away. So you should, it, it is helpful, but not necessarily for my play style because I'm a, I'm a distance player anyway, so I don't know how effective it'll be for me. The second perk tier has perfect balance, injection mold, and rifle barrel. Perfect Balance gives you extremely low recoil on a weapon, so it's great for auto rifles and pulse rifles and things like that. Injection Mold is kind of a wasted perk for me here because it increases stability, gives you faster handling, and reduces your range. But on, my, on this particular weapon, all it does is lower my range. And then I have Rifle Barrel, which is going to be tough for me because I don't know if I'll stick with Perfect Balance or if I'm going to go with Rifle Barrel because in the Crucible, range gives you better bullet magnetism for headshots and things like that. So. Probably when I use that, I'm going to switch back and forth and see what works best for me. And then my third perk is going to be Glass Half Full. This is a great perk. If you don't know what it does, the bottom half of each magazine causes additional damage. It's a great perk for low, low magazine size weapons such as this auto rifle that only has a magazine size of 36. And it could be it could be tough if you have it on something like the Doctrine of Passing and things like that. But pulse rifles with low magazine size, auto rifles with low magazine size great perk to have. The critical damage on this weapon it, at optimal range is 20 and the body rate body damage is 16. The rate of fire is 88 which is on the high side of archetypes for auto rifles but it's not the highest whereas the doctrine of passing or the soul stealer's claw is the max with 100 rate of fire. So now that you know the important damage stats let's take it into the crucible test it out test out the rate of fire in conjunction with damage and how bad the range fall off is in certain situations. So let's do this shit. All right, so let's test this bad boy out. Game one, baby. All right. With auto rifles, you definitely want to stick with your teammates. Easy kill, steal to start off with. Damn, I feel. Look at that battle run of perk park. I feel freaking lightning fast. Holy crap! Let me back up, nurse. Yo, my aim is garbage, but I got the kill. Ugh. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh my god, I was aiming way left on that. What the hell was that? All right, let's just get let's get going. Here. Second wind is a great perk. I'm rocking with my boots. For it's a trials perk. Um, you get to boost his speed after your revive. So let's see here. Engagement number three. My I have max intellect and discipline, so my 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 grenades come back relatively quick. So which is a good thing. Ew, that was an ugly grenade. Hawk Moon, Hawk Moon, you can hear it, that freaking hand cannon. That is the epitome. It's probably the best word to use for when you describe it as a hand cannon, because it sounds like a freaking cannon. 
Oh, easy kill. I'll take that. Another dude coming. He's hurt. He blinked out of the way. Got another easy kill. I like this. I'm liking this steel killing game we got going on. Ooh, get melted, kid. Get melted, kid. <laughs> oh man, the hawk wound didn't do good for you that time. The last engagement, you had me. You had the advantage. So, You're trying to cheese me. Let's go with this. Throw that out there. Skip grenades to have you running. He's running. Catch him. Ooh, hawk moon. Jeez. Chief one one three five. You douche. I switched the shotgun because I was going to close distance on him, but... Look, that's like five times in a row I've spawned in the same spot. What's going on here? Hawkmoon, nope. Not doing that. Give me that kill. Good thing he won't look at me. Is he still over here? My teammate's over here blade dancing, so I should help him out a little bit. All body shots, no headshots right there. What was that? Oh my god, he freaking... Oh! Man, he wasted his gold gun shots. I had a chance to take him down there, and I blew it. Ugh. Got a, got a noob here. I shouldn't have blinked. I should have just walked down there. That blink got me killed, man. Damn. See, the thing when they... I don't know if you guys know, but when they when they changed... Or when the Titan King came out, they changed the your ADS time speed or whatever. When you go blink, and it's definitely affected the way I play, for sure. Granted, I've never really liked blink. It's never been good for me, but. Oh my god! <laughs> that blade dancer's gotta be mad. Sit down, Chief. No hawk moon for you. Oh man, what did he hit me with? He must have. Oh, incendiary grenade. I'm dumb. It's alright. We're doing good so far. I'm, I'm definitely liking the way this feels in this close quarters environment. Granted, I'm, I've stole a few kills, but. Let's go ahead and throw that out there because there's no reason to challenge here. Ooh, somebody got hurt from that. Somebody got lit up from that. All right, I'm just gonna get, let's go ahead and get heavy. Let's see what we can do here. Got a dude coming. He probably got super. Yep, super coming. Ooh, 21. Let's go. Oh, damn. I did not hear that. All right, so we have... We've been using perfect balance, which feels amazing. Let's try out rifle barrel and see how that feels. Let's see if the, the optimal damage at range increases from 20 to whatever because I just got 21 in the close range so boom let's go heavy's out right now so that's not, we're doing good we're up by 10 and I'm playing by myself in Iron Banner which is doesn't normally happen normally when you're playing Iron Banner when you're playing you're playing a team of sweats and if you're alone you get wrecked but a little bit different this time I like that feels good ew my aim is garbage right now holy crap I'll take the assist got a pimp down over here Well, how you like it when I do it to you? Oh, wow. Nice trip mine. Nice. Oh, man. That was a good trip mine. Okay. All right. Well, the game's coming to an end. So, well, that it, it, for the first game, you know, I died early because of BS. Oh, sniper over there. But overall, the weapon felt really good. Definitely. Oh, we got five medallions redeemed. Can you tell I've been playing by myself? <laughs> so, the first game went well. I think it... It felt really good in the hands. You can definitely feel the battle runner perk. So maybe I was wrong about it being a throwaway perk. It definitely feels good after you get a kill. It gives you some a boost to your movement speed. Granted, I went 9 and 9, but it still felt good. So let's go to game 2 and see how it feels once again. Ew, I hear this music. I hate Drifter. I don't even have to see the map to know that I hate Drifter. God, I don't like this map. So we'll see how it goes. Here we go. Game 2, boys. Let's, let's get into it. Definitely gonna have to stick on my teammates and oh got an assist to start. Fill it out there, got a guy coming. Come on, come through here. I will shotgun you to death. I will shotgun you to death. Ooh, got him. Tried to freaking melee with those little T-Rex arms. <laughs> oh, what were you thinking, guy? I know I'm supposed to be using the freaking hatchet, but look at these close quarters here. Oh god, I need to run. I need to run. I need to run. Run, 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 run. He chased at me. Oh, God. Oh, man. Maybe I should have just turned around with a shotgun. Whatever. All right. This is the hatchet review. No shotguns here. No shotguns. I want to do good, too, you know? I can't just only use the hatchet. Sometimes you got a situational. Oh, man. I'm dead. Maybe I can get lucky. Maybe I can get away. Oh, my God. I got a grenade kill. Let's run. Get the F out of here. Get with our teammates here. Maybe I can steal a few kills here. 
The Drifter is such a bad map for me. Oh, he's dead. Give me that kill. Camped out a little bit. Where is he? Man, my target acquisition, my map reading is sucks right now. Holy crap. Ooh, get eight up. With the la- oh shit, with the last bit of health I had, I finished that dude off. Let's go. <laughs> alright. Let's go, we're doing alright. Ew. Ew. My aim is poop. Granted, I'm not liking the- I, I like the perfect balance feel. Definitely, I can definitely feel the difference in recoil here. Let me go back to perfect balance. Not, not that my aim is that great to begin with anyway, but... Ooh. Skip grenades to lead. I'll steal that kill, thank you. I'll pull that special. Alright. Come on, boys. Oh, shit. Ooh, give me that. That'll give me super right there. Let's go. Let's go F some, F some stuff up here. Hello, friend. Hello. Hello. Oh, let's go. He's on a merciless, baby. Oh man, no, no, no! Oh god, I'm getting surrounded. Let's uh, let's. Ooh, somebody died. Run, baby. I got your back. Run. All right, that was all crits, but he he ran though. I'm not sure what you're doing. Oh, that's good. Oh no, you bitch! <laughs> you led with the fucking Titan Slam. Why would you do that, man? That's so corny, man. Ooh, look at him. He tried to shoulder charge and got blasted by the Warlock melee. Warlock melee is. I know they decreased the range, but this shit is still is still a football field in length as far as the range goes. Saw that coming. Oh man, I almost got both of them dudes, man. Damn. If glass half full would have procced and I was hitting the headshots, it would have been way better. Ooh, I see that. Let me get those orbs, though. Go, go. Let me get those orbs. I don't know where they were, though. Maybe I can find them. Let's see. Oh, there they are. I see them. I see the orbs. One. Two. Oh, God. There's another orb. I want it. Ooh, I didn't even think I was gonna get that kill. I just figured it would be I just hurt him a little bit. Alright, let's go. I'll take that. Come on, pull it. Here they come. Pull it! No! No! <laughs> oh, and he got heavy. Damn it! It's alright. We're we're wrecking face here. I like what's going on here. I like this lobby. The raw auto rival's doing well. I I know that I hate this map, but this this lobby's doing really well. Shit blink! Did you see that panic knife into the wall? <laughs> All right, we're okay. We gotta, we we'll get the W here. Let's finish it up with a nice little blade dancer finish here. He went hammer. One, two. Let's go, baby. Nail in the coffin, boys. Three. Let's go four for the finish. <laughs> All right, so let me just say that I was wrong. I said that the battle runner perk might be a throwaway perk, but it felt good, man. That boost in speed after getting a kill felt really good. The glass half full perk definitely felt good when I was using it. And the perfect balance, you cannot replace that. Look at that. And I, as I say that, I get another Hakan's hatchet drop at 335. So that one's got... A reactive reload right no that one's got some those are some terrible perks right there that's a bad roll right there but anyways the weapon feels good i hope you guys enjoyed the review if you did don't forget to smash a like if you're new to the channel subscribe i'm putting out content almost every day i try my best with that being said be safe tell your mother to call me and i will catch you guys in the next video peace what are you waiting for do it yes you can